So this is what we do, you know, in terms of picking up some projects where we can demonstrate the application of technology also. You know, so we work with some of the corporates, use some of their CSR funds or even use some of their even corporate funds. Some of the corporates are interested in showing that because we alone by ourselves will not be do everything. So what we do is we partner and bring the relevant stakeholders in that to execute the project in a much faster manner so that we have people with expertise, some funding and, and backing of the government wherever needed uh, to execute the project. So yes, we are looking into those projects, especially in the areas of agriculture and healthcare. So we are basically becoming a catalyst for this digital transformation. There is a layer of all this innovation, so-called startups and small companies where a lot of this innovation is going to come from. So when all these startups come, they need to be connected with the larger ecosystem of industries to, to different organizations where their solutions are going to be adopted. So we help these startups, first of all, with the incubation space, the labs, the infrastructure they need. Some of these equipments are expensive. So government is helping us buy these equipments. These startups can come and use it for free. Uh, or with a very nominal amount which is close to free and also helping these startups get connected to the larger ecosystem where they get connected to some of the end users, so-called customers for them, which is a very big thing for them. So we are trying to make these things much easier for startups to develop a solution and get them adopted by end uh, user. There are few things which are always going to remain in public domain and, and, and or public sector I would say and a few things which will happen you know some of the innovations are going to come out of the private sector so obviously these two things have to collaborate together because some of the public sector organizations bring a lot of knowledge and, and domain expertise as well as certain exclusive domains which are you know only limited to them and then you bring that partnership together definitely will yield much higher results there. So far the biggest adoption is happening in the areas of manufacturing that is the biggest sector where they can directly see the benefits of that and secondly if we are looking to do make in india we cannot just say by making in india will make in india will happen you have to become competitive also right other countries are producing things at let's say 100 rupee you produce we produce with 150 rupee it's not going to work out we're not going to become competitive uh, and that's where technology comes into play, makes you more efficient, it helps you in your quality, just not the cost and the efficiencies, but even quality also you need to do, uh, which you need to become equal or better than others. And that's where technology will come into play. So that's where the realization has come with the in manufacturing sector, at least large manufacturing sectors are uh, seriously moving towards it. If you talk about Startup India program, basically, Startup India program is nothing but helping some of these companies which are working on the newer technologies which are going to have an impact both on the technology side as well as on something changing something on the having an impact in the industries so that program is a very big program so that's where government i can say is making a big impact because a lot of these new ideas come from the startups only whether it's you see at a global scene not just in india that's a that's a global phenomenon and uh, some of the other programs like digital india pushing digital payments is all moved towards that that brings people aware about these things you know what the technology can do for them also sometimes people get pushed into it and then after a while they start realizing initially there is discomfort to it because people are used to be doing things one way but then when they start uh, seeing it the other way they, they realize the benefits and then they ask for more and then third thing is some of the other centers they are setting up like center of excellence on iot and some of the other programs they have similar programs are pretty beneficial overall in being a catalyst to the to the whole uh, adoption of technology